This is Sea Orbiter. It's not a concept from the latest J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie, even though it looks like an underwater version of the Starship Enterprise fused with a sailboat. It is a real life coming soon to an ocean near you research ship. It will be completely powered by the three sustainable energy sources available to it in abundance, the sun, the wind, and the waves, allowing it to go a lot further for a lot longer than any ocean exploration vessel before as it won't have to return to land to refuel. Sea Orbiter is the brainchild of French architect Jacques Roguerie and will exist mostly underwater, with housing for 22 researchers and crew. It will actually launch divers and submarines from under the surface of the water so that missions won't be contingent on the weather. Prototypes have already been extensively modeled and tested, and funding has been gathered, so the project is a go. It is exactly this type of out-of-the-box approach to sea exploration that will be crucial in our quest to learn a lot more about the still largely unexplored, little understood ocean ecosystem, which is the most abundant on Earth, containing 80% of all life. We are just beginning to appreciate how powerful all that water is in influencing our biosphere, how slight changes in the oceans can create extensive life-altering ramifications for life on land. So we're kind of in a hurry, which makes it very hopeful indeed that construction on the $50 million floating laboratory is set to begin in the spring of 2014. Thanks for watching. For The Daily Conversation, I'm Bryce Plank.